I'm super excited to try out these new wireless meat thermometers, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so here I have both of the wireless meat thermometers. This is the Type 4 Sync, and this is the new Meter Plus 2. Both of these thermometers are absolutely fantastic, and these have to be two of the best wireless meat thermometers out on the market right now. So before we get into testing these, let me go over a few specs of these and I will start with the Meter 2. So I'm sure everyone is familiar with the Meter Plus. They only made one meat thermometer. Well, you can get their block, which is four of their meat thermometers in a big block, which is kind of nice. It is a little pricey, but other than that, they've stuck with their original style meat thermometer until now. This is the Meter 2 two and there's some differences between this and the original meter. The first thing you're going to notice is with the probe. You can see it is much more sleek. It is completely stainless construction besides this little collar here. So we'll start with the price. This is going for $120 online right now as I am making this video. It has Bluetooth 5.2 technology. It's supposed to get better range than the original meter. Now, since it's got this full stainless steel construction, it is fully waterproof and you can deep fry with it. Also because of the construction now, you can do direct heat grilling with this up to 1000 degrees. That is pretty impressive and it's nice because you were never able to do direct grilling with these meat thermometers. They always told you to pull the probe out before you went ahead and seared your steak or whatever you were cooking. So this is fantastic that they allow you to do that now. So the probe also has five internal temperature sensors. So what that allows this probe to do is find the coolest spot in the meat so you always are getting an accurate temperature reading because if it just had the one internal temperature sensor like most wireless meat thermometers, if you don't place that directly in the center of the meat, you are going to be off on your internal reading. So with those five internal temperature sensors, you're gonna have an extremely accurate reading. So the max internal temperature of this wireless meat thermometer is 220 degrees. So that is a little hotter than most wireless meat thermometers. They're usually at about 212 degrees. Now this base is run off of one AAA battery. And I've talked about in some of my other review videos, having a battery in the base is kind of nice because if you forget to charge the base, you have to sit there, plug it in and wait for it to charge up. Whereas the battery's dead, you can just swap it out for another one. Now this has quick charge technology, which allows you to do a five minute charge on this probe, and that'll give you two hours of cook time. If you charge it for 15 minutes, it's gonna give you 12 hours. Now they also say that that AAA battery should last you for two years of charging on this, with the average of cooking one steak a week. So that is pretty impressive. Now for the range on this, they are saying 250 feet, that is open sight, with nothing in the way or no other signals interrupting this. So this has some really cool new features that I'm really excited to try out and see how this thing is. The direct heat grilling up to 1000 degrees is an awesome feature. So let's go ahead and talk about the Type 4 Sync. Here's the Type 4 Sync and you can see how nice this thing looks. It has a little pop out base so you can stand it up like that. It also comes with two temperature probes here. They just slide in the back and that is how they charge. So this doesn't run off batteries. You need to charge the base with a USB-C charger. So like I said, sometimes having batteries is nicer, but at the same time, if you don't have any batteries in the house and you need them, that could be an issue as well. Now this is gonna be a little more pricey than the meter two. This is going for $183 right now as I'm making this video. But in my mind, it is well worth the extra money. You get two probes here. It's got a nice screen on the front. If I turn it on, you can see it'll show when you pull these probes out, it'll give you both temperature readings right on the screen, which is nice. So if you don't wanna look at your phone or you're having an app issue, you can still go to the base and read your temperatures. Whereas the meter two, if you have a problem with your phone or the app, you're not gonna know what temperature you're at. So this uses 5.4 Bluetooth technology, which is supposed to be the top end of Bluetooth technology. So it should have good connectivity with this. So the range on this is 400 feet in the open with nothing in the way. And then they say 65 feet when there is stuff in the way. You can see the probe is a little bit thicker than that meter two and it has a larger ambient temp sensor here. Now the max internal temperature on this is going to be 212 degrees like most of the other ones. And then the ambient temp is going to be 572 degrees. They do say this will withstand 707 degrees 
and you can also use this over direct heat deep fry as well and both of these are dishwasher safe 100 percent waterproof so that's nice you can just throw them right in the dishwasher now like the meter 2 this also has five internal temperature sensors so that's going to help out with your internal accuracy now it says the max ambient temp is 572 degrees for 20 minutes and if this is getting too hot it will notify you so you don't have to worry about damaging it so this has the bluetooth technology but something that is really nice about this is it also has wi-fi capabilities so you can connect this base to your wi-fi then you'll be able to monitor your cook anywhere you have internet. So if you need to run out of the house, go to the store, whatever, you will still be able to monitor your cook. I've tested this out a few times and it stays connected to the Wi-Fi even when it is outside the house, pretty far away from the router. But that's the rundown on both these meat thermometers. Let's go ahead and give them a test and we are going to need a nice cut of meat to put these to the test. And today I'm gonna be using this beautiful prime rib roast because any excuse to cook a prime rib roast I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up. Here I just have a little homemade seasoning blend. All right, so with a prime rib, you definitely wanna go heavy on the seasoning, as you can see here, but let's go ahead and get those temperature probes. All right, so you just wanna connect your meter and TIE 4 before you get the probes in, just to make sure everything is working properly, cause nothing's worse than getting your probes in, throwing it on the grill, and then finding out it's not connecting properly. Then also make sure the apps are up to date. Both of these have their own app, Type 4 and Meter. Another thing I wanna mention is you're probably gonna have to do some firmware updates when you get your wireless meat thermometers. I already went ahead and did all that. I just wanted to make sure everything worked before I went ahead and made this video. Just a heads up on that. So let's go ahead and get these probes inserted. So we'll start with the Meter 2 and on these meat thermometers, you'll see a little line on the probe. You wanna make sure you get it at least past that line. So go ahead and try and get this centered but having those internal temperature sensors, five of them is really gonna help us make sure we get an accurate reading either way. Looks pretty good like that. Now we'll get our Typher probe and same thing, try and get it centered in the piece of meat and it also has a line on it as well. So that's that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the pellet smoker. Now you just wanna keep these bases pretty close to the grill because they need to be in pretty close proximity to the temperature probes. So I'll show you real quick the screen here on the Typher Plus if you can see. You'll get your readout right there of 41 degrees and then you can actually set up your cook right through this but we're gonna go through the apps and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done that way. But my plan for this cook is I got the pellet smoker at 225 degrees. I'm gonna slow cook that prime rib until it reaches the 100 degree mark. Then I'm gonna crank the temp up to about 350, 375 and finish it off to 125 degrees. This is why having a wireless meat thermometer is very nice because you'll easily be able to monitor the temperature so you don't overcook. I also like this method because it's gonna allow you to hopefully get a nice crust on that prime rib. Let me get this cleaned up and then we will go over the apps. Now that that prime rib is on the smoker, let's go ahead and set up both these apps. Now, like I said, you don't have to use the app with the Type 4 if you just wanna get your readings right off that base, and it is totally fine to do that. So we're gonna start with the Meter app. So when you open it up, you'll see all your probes that are connected. You'll see my original Meter Plus is up there. It's not connected right now. Then we have the Meter 2 here down at the bottom, and it says no cook setup. That's because obviously we have not set up any of the cook yet. So go ahead and click that. So if you don't wanna set up a cook, you can just use this to get your readings here. You can see our internal is 40 and a half. And this is new with the meter too, I've noticed, is it's giving you a decimal point reading, which is pretty nice. And our ambient is at 222 degrees. That is surprisingly accurate. That smoker is at 225 degrees. And that's why I wanted to use the pellet smoker today because it has an ambient temp sensor in that grill that tells you what it's at. And I've tested it and it is very accurate. So this being at 222 degrees is pretty impressive because I've noticed when you put the probe into a cold meat, a lot of times that probe is soaking up that cold meat and it is bringing your ambient temp down because the ambient temp sensor is part of that whole temperature probe. So usually I I will get around a 200 degree reading on a 225 degree smoker until that piece of meat comes up to temp, then it'll be a lot more accurate. But 220 degrees, that is very impressive for this. But let's go ahead and click set up cook. Now here it gives you your options of what you wanna do. We'll click beef, we'll do a roast, and then prime rib down here. So I wanna take this to 125 degrees so you can set it right there. But like I said, we're gonna go to 100 degrees first. So this allows you to set any temperatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it at 100 degrees and then at the top here, just hit start cook. 
then it's going to tell you about inserting the probe which we already did and you can even watch a video down there so this app is very helpful and then it's telling you to keep it close by like i mentioned earlier and then here's your app right there eventually after a certain amount of time it's going to give you an estimated cooking time and let you know how long approximately it will be until you get to that target internal temperature this could take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes or so. But again, check out that ambient temp, 225, that is spot on. And I've tested out a lot of meat thermometers, so that is very impressive. Now, if you go through the app here at the bottom, you can go to Masterclass. It's gonna show you a bunch of different recipes here in the app. So there's a lot of cool things to go through and look on here. If you click the dots at the top here, it's also gonna have a bunch of options here. You can view a cook graph which is gonna show you how your cook has been going. And that is also kind of nice to see as well. Now in the center of the screen, if you click the estimating cooking time, it's gonna give you an elapsed time of how long your cook's been on. So that's pretty nice as well. Obviously this isn't gonna be accurate because I didn't start the cook until after I put the roast on. Now if you click the notifications at the bottom, it just gives you different options for alerts. Enable a flare up alert, which is nice. So if you're cooking on an open flame, and you have a flare up it will let you know so like i said there's a lot of great options to go through on this meter app but let's go ahead and get that type 4 set up so this is similar to the meter where it's going to give you a bunch of recipes which is nice a bunch of cool stuff in here but let's go to devices and then i have my type 4 sink here go ahead and click that shows that probe number one is still in the base then it is showing your probe two here gives you your battery levels temperatures ambient temp we can see that's 222 degrees so again this one is very accurate as well let's go ahead and click setup cook now again you can choose what kind of meat you're doing we'll do beef scroll down to roast prime rib then you can choose your temperature doneness now it looks like this is only going to 104 degrees that's fine because most of the times you're not going to be setting such a low temperature but we'll select 104 for this and that will be fine then hit done and similar to the meter it's going to show you how to insert your probe and there you go very basic screen 42 degrees internal targets 104 ambient 222 so both these probes are very accurate and close in temperature i believe the meter was at 40.7 so this is probably very close to that rounding up to the 41 degree mark then it shows you the graph at the bottom and you can scroll through and see at what time there was different temperature readings and whatnot so up at the top you have your settings just going to give you your device name some other information screen sleep setting so after 30 minutes that base is going to black out the screen and save you some battery you can set what time limit you want on there then you have your wi-fi down here to set up your wi-fi connection which i highly recommend so we will go back we'll hit the bell up top and very similar it's just going to give you five minutes before the cook ends and estimate is ready alarms so the type 4 app is very basic not much to it and i kind of like that but the biggest thing about this is I will be able to connect no matter where I have internet connection because that base is connected to my Wi-Fi network. So I can run out to the store, get some ingredients that I obviously forgot to get. I know that happens to everyone. And I can still sit here, monitor my cook. I can see how the smoker's going and everything. It is a fantastic option. Now, speaking of that, let's go back to the meter. Because if you have another device, say you have a spare phone that you can use or a tablet would be the best option. Take your tablet, get the meter app, have your tablet connected to the meter base. Then up here at the top, you hit the three dots. There's a link down here. It says web link. Just click that. And what I like to do here is click the email button. And when you click that email button, what it's going to do is allow you to send a link through an email to someone you want. So what I like to do is send that link to myself, then I can open up my email on my phone, open that link, and it's gonna show you a live feed of your cook. So this way, through that link that you've now created, you can take your phone, since your tablet is connected to the meter, and anywhere you have internet connection, you will be able to monitor that cook. The only thing is you're going to need a spare device, whereas the Type 4, you won't need that because the base is the Wi-Fi itself. So these both have the Wi-Fi option. It is just a lot easier on the Type 4 sync. But again, if you have a tablet or something, you won't have to worry about that. And that is a fantastic option. So that is the apps. We will wait till these get to about 100 degrees. 
then we'll come out and check it with an instant probe and see how accurate both of these wireless meat thermometers are. All right, so I just got the notification from both of the wireless meat thermometers and the temperature reading is 101 on each of these. Now 102, if you can see on the typer here, 102, the meter and this have been identical in readings the whole time. So that is pretty impressive and it's telling me that these are both high quality wireless meat thermometers. Let's check on this prime rib and compare it with an instant read thermometer. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is crank this smoker up to 375 to get it warmed up. And there is the beautiful prime rib roast. It's got beautiful color on it. Let's go ahead and check this with the instant read and compare our temps and check that out. 102, these are both dead on. I am super impressed with both of these wireless meat thermometers so far. Extremely accurate, both internal and ambient. That's something you really don't see with wireless meat thermometers on the market. So both these products are absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to reset my timers on both of these to 125 degrees and I will see you back out here when it hits that temp. All right, so the primer finished up. I hope you can see it's got a beautiful crust on this thing because we cranked that temp up. I pulled it off a little later than I wanted to. It was around 129 degrees. And you can probably see here on the Type 4, this has been out for a little bit now. And we are up to 133 degrees. So this will raise in temperature as it rests. That's why pulling it off around 125 would be good if you're looking for that medium rare kind of prime rib. But let me talk about these two fantastic wireless meat thermometers. As you saw throughout this review video, they are both extremely accurate, both internal and ambient temperature wise. These are by far the most accurate wireless meat thermometers I have used. Now the Type 4 is fantastic because it has that Wi-Fi capability. I didn't lose connection at all. I left this out here near the grill because it's got to be close to the probe. So this is about 60 feet away from my house where I have my router and it stayed connected to my Wi-Fi throughout the whole cook. Now with the meter, since it's so far away, when I went in my house, I did lose connection with that. But I showed you how to use that meter link if you have an extra tablet or phone handy. Now, if I had to choose one of these, I would definitely go with the Typher if you have the money just because of that Wi-Fi capability and you get a second probe as well. Now, I know the meter 2 does have Wi-Fi capability with the meter link, but you need another device. So it's just easier with the Type 4 in that matter. I also like how it has a screen on it. So in case you don't want to use the app at all, you can just look right on the screen and see what your temperatures are right there. That is not a slight against this meter too. This is hands down 100% better than their original meter plus. I have one of those and I have not really been happy with it. This meter too is absolutely fantastic and I love the option that you can do a direct grill up to a thousand degrees. Plus, I'm a fan of how thin the probe is and it is very sleek. A lot of these wireless meat thermometers have a super thick probe and I'm just not a fan of that. So this thing just looks fantastic and super accurate. I also like that it is fully stainless steel construction. It is going to make this thing easy to clean. Sometimes these ceramic ambient temps are tough to clean that smoke off of. So if you're looking just for a single probe and you're not worried about the Wi-Fi thing, I would definitely go with the meter too. But this Type 4 is so fantastic and if you can get it for that $180, definitely jump on that thing. You will not regret it, I promise. Now I'm gonna let this rest, and this is actually my dinner, so I'm gonna let this rest for a half an hour to an hour more, then I'm gonna slice into it. But I'll be sure to get some footage of how this came out, and I will put it up right now for you to see. And I'm sure it is a fantastic looking prime rib, cooked to perfection, thanks to these wireless meat thermometers but i really hope this video helped you out if it did please give it a like if you have any questions at all just leave a comment down below i will also put a link to everything i like to use in my videos down in the description i'm going to put a link to both the type 4 and the meter 2 right down there for you to find and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe right over here and i have a ton of gear review videos if you want to see those i will put the playlist to that right over here but thanks again for watching this video i really appreciate the support it means a lot most importantly get out there and smoke something good